Well, hello there. Happy Black Friday to everybody watching this in real time. Uh, Thanksgiving is a time of year. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but it's uh, time for me to be watching some more My Hero Academia. And I'm going to be honest, I forgot what happened last time. Yeah. Um, okay, I remember the Christmas party and Aerie getting a sword. <laughs> uh, there was, uh, right, uh, in internships with Endeavor and uh, stuff about the, the Metal Liberation Army and Hawks. Um, but not stuff about the... Uh, the uh, League of Villains yet, even though we had that tease of uh, what's his name, uh, Shigaraki being the one to destroy an entire city, er <coughs> excuse me, area. So like, yeah, uh, was that everything? Was that everything that happened last time? I feel like that was everything. Hmm, it's kind of unfortunate. Um. Yeah, I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of hoping we, uh, stick it to Endeavor a little bit, you know, take him down a peg in terms of, uh, his, uh, his attitude, um, but not like, like, I don't want him to lose his number one spot right now, but I, I do want him to be, like, more recognizing of the fact that he didn't properly earn that spot, the way he wanted to. I wanted to be more open about that. And like have it be an actual discussion. Rather than just an implication. So. Um, otherwise. Yeah I mean we, we got to see a cool action scene at the end there. Or like in the last episode. But like. Yeah because there was like the, the glass wizard. <laughs> so that guy was weird. Um, but like. Other than that, uh, yeah, we, we ended off with them being introduced to the agency, I think. Because uh, we had the, the girl who has, like, green fire for hair um, that I've seen in fan art. Uh, we've had her. Um, and, uh, yeah. That's, that, that's about it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, just gonna get to it. Shall we? Starting in three, two, one. Okay, <laughs> back on YouTube and, uh, yeah, this really was kind of a nothing set. Um, like, it seemed like at the end of the last, the second one they were setting something up, but I have no idea what it was. I know there's two movies that have come out for this that I haven't watched yet. Um, I didn't watch the first one, or the first of those two uh, that came out like, accompanying season four, because I heard that there might be spoilers for season five in it. Um, from what I've gathered right now, it's basically just the outfit change that's the spoiler, and maybe the inclusion of a couple characters um, that we have we wouldn't have officially met yet at that at the point when the movie came out. Um, mainly Hawks, but uh, even still, I'm glad I'm not going to be. I'm not going to watch either movie until after I'm done watching season five. And even then, I don't know uh, for sure, like, if I can watch the second movie, or if I'm going to have to wait till after season six for that one. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, that's, <laughs> that's pretty, oh, interesting, oh god, oh, sorry, um, but, yeah, I don't. I don't know what's what that was setting up. I don't, 
I don't know who the character there at the end was supposed to be. Um, especially if they were supposed to be in like a European country. That's weird. That's a long fucking way from Japan. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Another episode with Selkie and Sue. And also uh, Dragoon Hero. Um, for me, I guess the most interesting thing about that episode was just Uraka's new uh, outfit and arsenal there. <laughs> Having little grappling hook doodads in her wrist. Makes sense, A, why they're bigger, but also uh, it just makes sense as a thing for her to have. She can make herself float and be weightless, so of course she can then actually uh, have those things tow her around. Um, which, if she's weightless, then that actually is really cool because it, requ- it uh, lowers the, the the amount of force that the motor inside her little that retracts the the cable. It requires it will require less force to actually pull her around if she's weightless. So that's neat, um, which makes means that it can be smaller and less like not as uh, not as difficult to work with. Um, but again, I really do feel like she needs, like, a fucking collapsible giant hammer or something like that. <laughs> just a, just a huge-ass fucking weapon that she can swing around. And now that she's... We know she's capable of, you know, making something as big as a plane at least temporarily weightless. Um, like, that's actually, uh, really cool. Um, cause, uh, I mean, that just means that, you know, she's gonna be able to float bigger and bigger stuff, so, eventually it should be that, you know, even a giant hammer as a weapon or something like that, like, it, it won't be a problem for her and it won't cause her to fucking vomit like that all the time. Um, so yeah, I, I really think she should, uh, get on that. Because otherwise, her power is not the most useful in combat. But, um... Looking at, uh... This set of episodes... It's starting to... It's starting to dawn on me. I've been watching some reviews of, like, Season 4 and stuff. But it's starting to dawn on me that... Seriously, fuckers? What the fuck? not even that big of a fucking truck. It's just loud. Ugh. Anyways, it's starting to dawn on me that my hero has a problem. Which I didn't actually think anime had this problem. Um, <laughs> I was not aware of it. But I guess it is a problem. I call it the Flash problem or the CW problem, something like that, because that's where I first noticed the problem um, with the with the DC superhero shows that aired on the CW. The problem is that my hero has a certain number of episodes that's given per season, and for the last several seasons, that number has been like twenty four or twenty five. I forget which one um, off the top of my head. I think it's 25. Might have been 23. I don't know. But it's an odd number, and it's in the 20s. It's in or lower to mid-20s. Um, but the problem is that it's too many episodes. They ha- they In order to make the story that they want to tell for that season fit, they have to stretch certain things out, they have to add filler episodes, they have to to do a shit ton of flashback bullshit, and it detracts from the story. Even back in season one, when they had, when they only had 13 episodes, you know, there was a lot of flashbacks and other bullshit, but, like, even in episodes where that was the case, something happened in every single episode of season one of this show. You could, you can go back there and you can look at it and you can see, like, what happened in each episode? Okay, so, like, uh, let's actually go through it. Episode one, we got introduced to uh, Deku and Bakugo and All Might and just everything that was going on in that world. What what was, like, the, the big questions that we had? Can Deku become a great hero? 
even if he doesn't have a quirk, all that sort of stuff. Episode two pushed pretty much all that forward and actually ended with us getting to the point of like, no, Daku can't become a hero without a quirk, but now he's going to get a quirk because he already has the heart of a hero. All that sort of stuff. As well as the explanation of like what was going on with All Might. Um, <laughs> then episode three, we had the training montage. Episode four is where we actually had Daku's first big moment of using uh, One for All. And it was awesome. <laughs> Episode 5 was the uh, the test where with the, the balls um, and throwing them <laughs> and Deku showing Aizawa his finger. <laughs> uh, and that was really good. So, uh, yeah, that was also our introduction to Aizawa. And then episode 6, after that, uh, that might have been like the least of the episodes. Because now that I think about it, I don't fully remember what happened there but I want to say that was our uh, I'm pretty sure yeah I'm okay I'm pretty sure that was the start of you know the all might uh, class thing so like it was it was a lot of setup for the next little bit of arc but it was also you know the only time we got that setup it wasn't it, they got through all of that they, they got through the whole, uh, I, I was actually deceiving you, nobody's getting expelled, followed up by, yeah, going into All Might's class and, like, we're going to be doing a combat exercise, here's the teams you're all going to be in, and, uh, first up it's going to be, uh, Makugo vs. Deku, like, actually, uh, now I'm starting to second guess my memory and I actually have to go back and look at it, okay, uh, We'll actually look at, uh, we'll actually look at it. Okay, so season one. Yeah, okay, so yeah. Episode six was the start of the exercise, and episode seven was actually Deku versus Kachan at the episode. Um, so that's the one that ended with the big punch. Episode eight, Bakugo's start line was where, you know, we actually, we actually got to see things a little bit more from his perspective of realizing, like, he's kind of now no longer on the top and starting to move forward there in that way. Um, episode 9 was the whole uh, media invasion as well as Ida becoming class rep. Um, episode 10 was where we started off the uh, where we started off the uh, USJ incident. Um, and then episode 11 was where we actually got, had them you know, interact it was where we had uh, Sue, Mineta, and Midoriya actually going up against the villains. And then episode 12, All Might, the big one. My favorite one, probably. Um, and then episode 13, the wrap-up. So yeah, going through every episode of season 1, like, something happened in every single fucking episode of season 1 that you can point to it and just be like, yeah, that's what happened in that episode. And like, for a while, they were doing fine. Season season two, you know, the only, uh, like, filler stuff we had was uh, the Everyone's Internships episode, um, which was decent filler at the time. Um, and I guess, you know, we had the, uh, the first episode, the uh, recap, but, like, Nobody cares. Like, the, the recap is just something that we all ex- accept and understand is going to be part of these seasons now, right? Right? I I will not accept no for an answer there. Um, and then... Holy shit. Yeah, people people had to wait for, like, an, a year for this to be dubbed back in the beginning? Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, the dub did not start until 2018 in the first place. Wow. That's crazy. Now it's almost simultaneously coming out. I'm very close to it, at least. Um, let's see. And then, yeah, season three. Season three kind of had a few filler stuff. Uh, we had the special episode, and we did have that one expanding on the... Uh, I forget if it was 18 or 17. Uh, where they expanded on, you know, the other... 
uh, members of the class taking the exam and showing what they went up against. And that was that was regarded as pretty cool, at least by me. Because um, it did seem pretty necessary at the time. Uh, and again, we did have the... the uh, recap episode starts so like there were three episodes in season three that felt maybe a little bit more uh fillery but like i don't remember any episodes of that that were like nothing episodes where like literally didn't feel like anything happened here other than characters talking to each other um it wasn't until we got into season four where we started to have a little bit more where it was yeah just like it felt like the entire thing was just recapping stuff we already knew. Um, mainly in the first half, I'd say, of season four, where we just had all the information about Ari and whatnot that we had to get through and tell to people over and over again. Um, Cause yeah, I, I, the second half of season four was actually really fucking good. Um, <laughs> uh, other than like the last two episodes the last two episodes I did not care for but that's because those shouldn't have been the last two episodes those should have been the start of season 5 um <laughs> ridiculous uh but hey yeah so it's 25 episodes but yeah like if season 4 had been like maybe 22 or 21 episodes it would have been better. You know, just condense some stuff in the earlier first half of the season a little bit more and then end on the school festival and leave the, you know, uh, Endeavor versus Nomu fight for the start of season five. Um, Jesus. Uh, Because, yeah, going through all of this... (laughs) Shit. Like, there was... And then, yeah, season five, it really did feel like all the fights took forever to get through. Just for freaking ever. Most of them were two episodes and they didn't need to be. I just, ugh. So much fucking recap bullshit that did not need to be there. And it's the same thing. For, for this right here, you know? It really feels like episodes 14 and 15, you could have combined pretty much into one episode and just had had it all all be in one. Um, I kind of lost the point there, but again, but just to bring it back around. The point is, is that they order 25 episodes a season for this show, and they don't need that. And I don't know why networks and like production companies do this type of shit they should allow like especially with something like this where you're adapting something that already exists the manga already exists and we know like how many chapters there are and therefore the writers should be able to tell looking at those chapters like how many episodes they're going to need to adapt the arcs that they're coming into um so like based on that that's how many episodes for that season they should order it shouldn't be a here's a set number you have to meet this number of episodes and that's it because that leads to condensing certain parts that shouldn't be condensed or expanding outwards on things that don't need to be expanded on and thus creating a lot of filler and it's annoying and i've heard that you know uh, it being that this show being a seasonal anime is a good thing um and I don't necessarily disagree but it's become very apparent from watching like the CW stuff and then comparing it to say uh like the HBO Max stuff or the equivalent thereof just things that come out on streaming services where they do get to order a more specific number of episodes based on the story that they want to tell, like, it becomes more, much more apparent that letting the story dictate the number of episodes rather than the other way around is the best way to go. And I 
didn't used to think anime had that problem. Mainly because I was used to watching anime that were like one season only type stories. <laughs> um, oops. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I guess, like, yeah, if you're only telling us a, a shorter story that you only need one season for and you can just order however many episodes you want, then, yeah, that that's the case. But if you're telling a multi-season type thing, they need to... They need to do things a little bit differently. Like, I understand, you know, we all watching the show want more of the show, but to be specific, I want episodes that don't feel like filler. I want episodes where things actually happen and you can feel the progress of the, sh of the story. Um, unlike episode 15, where it literally felt like nothing happened. Episode 16, obviously, you know, that's di that's different, but... Like, it still feels like a filler episode that was produced simply because they needed to, well, fill an episode slot for this season. Episode 15 feels like it was, like, mostly made up of flashbacks, aside from the stuff with the, you know, League of Villains being there at the beginning. Um, like, other than that, the rest of it was, like, flashbacks or characters explaining powers the 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 very, relatively short scene of Endeavor actually like showing off and te teaching them and actually going out on patrol that was fine um, but like there was a good chunk of the episode that just felt like it didn't need to be there um, so first time I've ever really noticed that issue here in the show. Um, and again, it, it feels like it's a consequence of, you know, the number of episodes. Not not the fact that, like, it, it doesn't feel like, the, you know, they're bad at storytelling or anything like that. It just feels like they, they're they trying to take up time that they shouldn't have to. And it's not, not really their fault. They just, uh, they were told, like, here's here's what you, you have and, uh... Yeah, they're making the best of it, but, like, the best still is not great if, if in this case, um, I'm not trying to, I'm, I'm, I'm sounding too much like I'm dunking on it, um, I'm just like, like, no, no, I love the show, and I, I love watching the characters, I just, I didn't feel the progress in that episode, and I want it to be known, so that way, you know, if it comes up in the future, like, yeah, it it shouldn't come up in the future. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, no, no, no. Episode sixteen was fine. Episode fifteen, the parts well, you know where things were happening uh, were also very interesting. This is a the setup to this whole arc has been very weird because it feels like there's a lot going on, but also like everything's connected and we only just have half the information, but they're not presenting it as a mystery. They're just not telling us what's going on. Um, so in that way, it's kind of suspenseful, but not in the like, I'm on the edge of my seat type suspense. It's more like a, I'm, I want to lean back and just be like, all right, what's happening next? type of type of thing you know uh like a rather rather than a i have to watch the next episode it's more like a you know do i want to continue yes <laughs> type of type of thing um yeah so uh it's weird but hey i'm i'm looking forward to seeing how it concludes because i i feel like uh I mean, we're on episode 16. Wait, did this... Did this season have more episodes, actually, now that I think about it? Like, they're all... It's finished airing, so, like... No, 25. So, like... That's 25 episodes. Episode 16, that leaves nine more episodes, right? Four and five and nine more episodes and there's at least you know there's this arc that needs to finish up and then there's at least one more after this 
because uh, we we still have that that villain arc that I know is coming up. So, hmm, it's a lot to fit into the end of the season, and they're giving us this much filler. Feels weird. Um, yeah, I have a lot of questions, not a lot of answers. So I am gonna be keep coming back to get those answers. So yeah, but. That's going to be next time. Because, uh... Yeah. Don't have anything else to talk about for this one. So, until next time... Bye-bye!